Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Jeremiah here. Today I wanted to make a quick video discussing the specs or parts that you should look for when building or buying a new desktop in 2020 to make music that won't break the bank. I was really silly discussing this with my friend Cameron and I wanted to start off with saying that this isn't going to be a budget studio PC build. This is just what I think that you should be looking for as kind of the minimum requirements, especially if you want this computer to be able to last for maybe five years or more. I've had my current PC for about four years and of course this all just depends on you and your requirements, what you do with your PC. Currently, I'm running Studio One for to mix and record my music, and I use DaVinci Resolve 16 to edit my videos. Now, I used to work at Micro Center, and I bought my PC for like $700 on clearance back then. It had i7, 16 gigs of RAM. It did not come with a graphics card, and it had like a 500 gig uh, solid state drive. I added a terabyte hard drive to it, and I ended up adding a 1050 Ti graphics card so I could edit my videos. I don't do any 4K videos and I don't do a lot of gaming so I was able to get away with that. If you do work with a lot of 4K videos or gaming a lot, you're going to need a nicer graphics card and definitely get a bigger solid state drive because storage becomes a big issue, especially when you're working with really large fires like with 4K videos. But for today, we're going to take a look at Micro Center's website. They just have a really good selection of computers and parts, whether you're building or just buying uh, a desktop. And we're going to be looking at PCs today. So sorry if you're a Mac user, you can just look for similar specs. But on the website, and you can go to Newegg, which I have up here, which is popular, or Amazon or anything. But uh, these are just two big websites to look at. So we're going to click on desktops. Now, the most important piece of hardware that I think you should look at when talking about working on music or in general is going to be the processor. Now you can go with Intel or AMD. It doesn't really matter. They both have great cards. I'm just used to Intel and there's more options with that. And we're going to want at least an i7, i7 or i9. Right now the i7 is still cheaper and you are going to have plenty of performance for it, especially when working on just music. And you're going to want at least the sixth generation or newer. I have an i7 6700. I would recommend maybe an i7 9700 or something like that. The next most important piece is going to be your hard drive or your solid state is what I should say because a magnetic hard drive is not nearly as fast as a solid state drive and that's really important when it comes to the speed of your computer booting or just opening programs and you're going to want at least 512 or 500 gig or a terabyte and then the next thing to think about is going to be memory, which is definitely going to have a huge impact on the performance of your PC and the speed of your uh, programs running. So I would look at 16 gigs or higher, which I guess we don't need to click. And I wouldn't really look at these uh, super cheap options, uh, although this is actually very similar to what I am currently running, which is starting to get a little old. It's a sixth generation i7 processor, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a 512 gig solid state drive. I did have pretty much a computer like this that says Intel HD Graphics 530. That's pretty much what I bought back in the day. So if you wanted to get this, I would just recommend adding a graphics card if you need one to do video editing or anything. If you don't need a graphics card and you don't do a lot of gaming or anything, great. You can go with something like this. Just uh, add a bigger hard drive or a backup uh, solid state, you know, as needed. But I would start with looking at maybe like their power specs, which is Micro Center's own desktops that they have. Something like this, which is going to have, like it says, a ninth generation i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and a terabyte solid state drive. This still has integrated graphics. It doesn't come with this video card. But something like that would be perfect for somebody getting into working on music. And like I said, that's still not necessarily the budget computers like the you know, this $588 option, that'd be more on the budget side and it's refurbished, it says. I did find this HP Omen on their website, which this is actually a really good price. It's also refurbished, but it comes with a RTX 2060 uh, video card. So that would be great because then you can still edit videos if you need to or do some gaming. And uh, of course it has ninth generation i7 and 16 gigs of RAM, 5 uh, 12 gig solid state. So you'd still want to put a backup solid state in there or upgrade the solid state to like a terabyte or something. But let's go ahead and move on 
if you were looking at adding a additional solid state drive, I would recommend getting an M.2 drive like this uh, Samsung 970 Evo Plus for $180. You could go with something a little bit cheaper like uh, this Crucer for $100. It's also M.2. It's just a little bit slower. So that's just what I would recommend if you wanted to get something like that $580 refurbed uh, HP Pro Desk and then just add like a, you know, this hundred dollar terabyte solid state drive in there and you don't need a video card, bam, like there you go, $680 plus tax and shipping, maybe whatever. That's not a bad price at all. If we go on to Newegg, you could do the same thing. Just go to computer systems, desktop computers or gaming desktops. Uh, I opened both. So this was uh, just the regular desktops. I put an i7, sixth generation or newer. You can see everything up here. So 16 gigs of RAM, Windows 10, all that stuff. But I also did that with the gaming desktops and I kind of picked out a desktop, you know, that I thought was a good option from just regular desktops and gaming. So here's the one from, you know, one of these Lenovo's. It's a uh, a little more expensive than the other options on Micro Center right now, almost $1,200, but you get a solid state drive terabyte and a terabyte hard drive, which is awesome. That's going to be eighth generation i7 processor and integrated graphics still. So mostly you're just paying for the two terabytes. And if you go to the uh, gaming desktops, I thought there was a good MSI here for 1250. This is going to have a 10th generation i7, which is awesome. It comes with a terabyte hard drive and a 500 gig uh, solid state. That's what I'm running right now on my desktop. RTX 2060 um, video card, 16 gigs of RAM. So uh, that's similar to what I'm running, but with a way nicer graphics card and a better processor. So that kind of is why that price is that much higher. And it looks like it comes with a keyboard and mouse. So that's cool. But that's really all I wanted to go over today. As you saw, you know, you can spend more money and get more out of your PC, or you can go something just as cheap as this $580 refurbished desktop and just maybe add some parts to it as needed. But I just wanted to say that it's really important to make sure that you're getting high quality stuff and not caring too much about the price. I understand not everyone can afford to get a really expensive computer, um, but everything's kind of getting cheaper nowadays as new stuff is coming out. And, you know, like these new graphics card by NVIDIA, the RTX 3080, great quality for the price. And that's great news for us going forward because that just means that more and more people are going to have the accessibility to get a decent computer to be able to make music or videos and not at a price that's going to break your bank. So I hope that this video has given some of you some insight on what to look for when building it or buying a new desktop to make music on. It's really about you and your personal preferences. If you want better parts that are faster, then you can put in a little bit of extra money, but it's mostly just going to get cheaper as we go into the future. But for today, that's all I have. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and leave a comment down below with how you would spec out a computer to make music in 2020. And don't forget to subscribe. Most of my watch time is coming from non-subscribed viewers. So if you like this or if you have seen uh, some of my other videos and you keep coming back, don't forget to hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. But as always, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching. <laughs>